So I think today is uh, the topic is the physics of everyday life. Yes. Yeah, love love me some physics of everyday life. I know you do. Oh man, I've been around the, you long enough the to physics actually everywhere. hear you speak on the physics of everyday life, whether I want you to or not. Yeah. Let's jump right. Bring it back. right back. And this is Raphael Katabak. Mm -hmm. uh, from Facebook. You've been practicing, says, Chuck. I'm very impressed. No, not at all. <laughs> all right, so uh, Renee Douglas from Patreon. Uh, Kevin Miller from Facebook. Nader's uh, 19872 from Instagram. Total Nerd 52. George uh, Xenophantos. Marco Blackwell. Haney Larm says this. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with the rectangle? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who are these elements? Okay. Some other people. <laughs> Some other people you heard of. I'm very rich. <laughs> very, very rich. You were like 10% Captain Kirk on that one. I <laughs> know. <laughs> just saying. It just cannot be changed. <laughs> Tell me, Spock, what is it with the yeah. laws of thermodynamics? Once... It's like my son. I told my son I was 30. He was like, you're going to die soon. <laughs> right? And mind you, I'm like much older than 30. <laughs> Why am I lying to my son about my age? I don't. Don't trust anyone older yeah. than 30. There you go. That's it. That's There you go. That's why the show is good. That ain't right. We okay. Could, we could do I, cosmic queries forever. What? Oh. You could do cosmic queries forever? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one answering the question? <laughs> I'm, why I'm you, glad you think. Why do you think we could do it forever? <laughs> So it would have if, to if be if I may be cynical. Cynical. May I? With your, only with your permission. Uh, go please. I'm all about it's rare that I see you actually admit to being cynical. I think aliens more advanced than us would be impressed how far we've come for in, being such dumbasses. For, for being such for being such <laughs> dumbasses. You were trying to find out a very how diplomatic way to far we've come. It's disgusting. It just is. Ugh. It just is. You should have never. No, told I, me I that. used to that judge is, that, but I stopped judging it. You know why? I, how can you not judge that? I'm gonna tell you why. I, you please I'm gonna do. tell you why. Please, you should be judging that. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, you tell me, because I'm, I'm telling you. That's deserving of judgment. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we in sixth grade? I know. <laughs> how far away would a black hole have to be in order for our solar system to fall into it? Uh I also have another question. Why are you so awesome? I love Star Talk, and you are just one of my heroes. That's it. That, he no, that, that last part was for me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, no. no. Uh, I think what he means instead of how far, how close yeah, yeah. So, would, would it have to be? Is yeah, what he that, same, same, same thing. Same, idea. same thing. So that's not how black holes work. Right. Okay. Black hole is not some giant sucking machine. Mm. We're getting like my career. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm laughing Chuck, at my own. We love you, Chuck. Okay, <laughs> Chuck, you're a hero on our podcast. No matter what else is happening to your career, I don't know. <laughs> no matter how far in the toilet your career may be, Chuck. Did you get booed off this comedy stage last night? <laughs> No, and you can you you can you know. and I love young comedians because they get off the stage and they immediately lie to themselves. Mm. You know, and they get off the stage and they look at you and they go, "Yeah, so that felt good, right?" And I'm like, "Why are you asking me? <laughs> it felt good. It felt good. I, you don't need my permission for it to feel. You know, you suck. You know, you suck. What is your problem, Chuck? Anyway. The mentor." <laughs> Chuck. No wonder no one comes to me for advice. All right. Anyway. Right. And my wife was one of those earliest employees. Get, get out. She has a PhD in mathematical well, physics. I knew that. I didn't know yes. that she worked for Bloomberg in yes. the early days. When she was there, Bloomberg had 100 employees. Oh, my God. Yeah. She got more money than you. No. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've well, got two minutes left. What, how many? What do you got? All right. Here's one. <laughs> This is Haney. Uh, you laugh in advance of the question. That's embarrassing for the person who asked the question. I'm not laughing at the question. I'm just laughing at that. Okay, I'm laughing at the question. Uh, Haney Larm says this. Uh, from where? From Instagram. Okay. What causes thunder? 
Thunder, very good. I know, but it just seems so weird to ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. Why? Yeah, because you're an astrophysicist. And it's physics, so many, dude. It is physics, but I'm just saying, you're like, there's so much that you are associated with in terms of your expertise. Maybe this person knows everything else. Ooh. And it's the only gap left in their knowledge. Oh, sure. So, the, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they know all about red shifting, <laughs> okay. but they don't know uh, what thunder is. Okay. Okay. By the way, I am not trying to disparage you, Lauren, at all. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, Haney. All right. All so, I'm saying. Why are you saying this? Oh, and uh, another asymmetry in physics. Okay. Okay. Do you realize an electron is a positive charge? Yes. I'm sorry, negative charge. Negative charge. Negative charge. Right. So now watch. I can draw field lines coming off the electron and there'll be straight lines coming out. They call it the electric field lines, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Mm -hmm. I have a formula that, that describes that. Okay, electricity and magnetism are two sides of the same coin. Right. That's why we have Which this word, you, electromagnetic. No, that's right. Electromagnetic, that's why we have that word. Right. Okay, so if things were symmetric, I should be able to find just a negative pole of a magnet. Just the same way I have a negative charge on an electron. But you can't. You can't. Because the moment you have a magnet, you got to have two poles. Exactly. So get get yourself a magnet, bar magnet, horseshoe magnet, I don't care. There's a plus side and a negative side. Cut it in half. Now you have two magnets with a plus and a minus side. Cut them in half. You have four magnets, each with a plus and minus side. You cannot cut off the negative from the positive in a magnet. But you can in electricity. Right. That shows up in the formulas as an asymmetry in that's, what's called Maxwell's equations. That's they are cool. not symmetric. That's awesome. And as a physicist, you got to get over that when you first learn his equations. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. All of these clips came from a single episode of Star Talk, a great podcast with lots of fun and excellent bits of scientific discussion, like what you heard in the last clip. If you like what you saw here, then subscribe for more videos, and check out the links in the description and top comment for episodes of Star Talk.